What up, YouTube? Oh, yeah, I forgot. No gum. This is being filmed after the fact. So, um, I've already done all the service and everything, and I am left. I've already filmed this like three times, and this is the third time itself. So, here we go. Uh, changing the transmission fluid on my Camaro. I'm telling you guys, uh, I am not trying to sell anything. Heck, even at this point, I don't even have 50 subscribers. So, I, I am getting nothing for free. I'm trying to help you guys out and do you guys a solid. And I am telling you, this is the only way to buy your fluid. It doesn't matter what kind of transmission you have. If the opening to where you will fill the fill tube, the port, plug, whatever you want to call it. If it is in any way, shape, or form kind of difficult to get to, this is the solution. This is what you need. This is well worth the money, and you will thank me in the long run. The best discovery I have found. These pouches are wonderful. They're the best thing that I have come across. Uh, they're the easiest. They save time. They make, they make the most sense. Uh, the job just goes by, um, it, it's just that much less frustrating, and to me, that is worth its weight in gold. Right here, that's how it hangs in my garage. Uh, I just, I have like a nail in the wall, and I just, I can stack two or threes right on the wall, and uh, it really sit, opens up my cupboards. Uh, there's a lot of open shelf space. Put, you know, brake cleaner or power steering fluid or, or you know, whatever let alone that the oil inside of these pouches is the best that money can buy um, for I think a non-member price uh, I'll put it on the screen but $18 for uh, you know a quart of fluid uh, I, I know I went to the dealer and I think I paid like 1075 or something a quart this is better fluid still and it is way less messy and way easier to uh, change, it's a no-brainer. Um, I can tell you just after driving on the car for a week, driving on the car, after having driven the car with the fluid changed, you're not gonna notice very much difference. Um, as far as shifting, it's a tiny bit smoother, but I can tell just by the way the car reacts. You don't hear any of the whining, any of the, uh, just the typical noises I felt for the first 10,000, it's all gone. It's it's buttery smooth. Those of you guys that have uh, pretty low miles on your car, switch to this. As you will see in the time lapse, um, I'll do my voiceover and I'll talk you through it just like I normally do on all of them. But this, uh, the you, you'll see when I am uh, filling the transmission fluid uh, what took me so long and it didn't take me long at all I think each pouch to empty was maybe maybe 60 seconds you know 30 40 seconds or whatever but uh, you're limited by how big of a hole you put in this nipple right here that is what you're limited by the nylon tubing that I had um, off my first video I'll put a link up for you guys to watch that but i uh had one of those four cc pump bottles just the you know seven eight dollar pumps that you would buy online off of ebay that tubing was what so i already had the tubing on hand so that's what i was going to use so i you know i was only able to get like you know maybe an eighth of an inch hole but still even 45 seconds to sit there and just squeeze uh the tube or you know the fluid into the transmission um way faster than sitting there pumping it uh, I, I thought my freaking arm was gonna, I thought I was gonna have to, yeah. I'm not gonna whine and cry, but I'm telling you, sit there and go like this 75 to 100 times on each bottle after three and a half quarts, you know, fourth on your fourth quart, seriously getting old. I will say I am happy that I changed the fluid when I did. Um, the first one, I think I did about 5,000 miles. So, um, the first time around, 
uh, I will, I'll put the mileage up, but it wasn't that long ago that I did it. And I mean, th that's okay. Uh, because mainly, you know, you're just that gear mesh that's setting in, um, you're just getting the remnants that's, you know, as those gears wear in and wear together, uh, you know, just the filings that come off of it, that's all you're getting out of the fluid itself. So, um, every time that you stab the throttle or you have a hard acceleration, you're causing those gears to dig in hard to each other and you're just causing excessive wear. Not really excessive, but it, they're wearing faster than they normally would have just, you know, your typical, your A to B driving. And that's fine because, uh, you know, that's what the car was intended to do. From the blueprints to a tangible reality finished product vehicle, that was the sole purpose of this car. This car is not uh, made for efficiency. It's not made to be economical. It's not made for, uh, you know, any of that practical stuff. So that's kind of why I put the best fluid that I can in as early as I can. Uh, to, it's kind of like a preventative maintenance on the car. So um, this right here, I'm telling you, I'm just trying to help you guys. This is the only way to do it. Uh, ever since I tried this the first time on the rear differential, uh, I, I'm not going back. If you try this, you'll love it. Thanks for watching guys. I seriously appreciate it. Uh, it really helps my channel out if you subscribe or at least, you know, give it a big thumbs up. It's all good. Other than that, yeah, here we go. The one thing I would love about this transmission is how easy it is to do this service. Uh, you'll, this time I'm not putting the skip shift eliminator in, so you'll see uh, it's just sliding that hard tube out of the way, remove the fill plug and then the temperature sensor. You'll see it comes out a lot more red this time around. Um, and that's good because it tells me that the fluid is in good condition, but yet uh, we're still getting contaminants out of there. So the service is definitely needed. These fill pouches, like I said, well, I'm getting cleaned up here. Like I said, uh, as far as cutting off the nipple, um, you'll be able to see right here how far down I was able to get. So I was only able to get, once you see it in person, you'll know. I was only able to get down to the second ridge. So, you know, maybe a 3 8 inch beyond that, but uh, as far as being able to slide that nylon tubing down, but uh, super simple, easy to do. Uh, you just lay on your back, sit there and squeeze the fluid in and you're done. Um, you'll see right here, uh, the one part I do love about these things is uh, you can squeeze the fluid up from any angle. So how long the tubing is, it doesn't matter what angle it is. You could be standing outside. You could be sitting in the driver's seat. Uh, if you got long enough tubing to go inside the fill tube, you can just squeeze the fluid right in. Super simple, easy. And this fluid is known, it says on the website, it's a lot thinner. So I'm hoping to gain mileage and efficiency uh, just from the viscosity of the uh, oil itself. But it still has all the friction modifiers that you need for Dexron 6. And uh, other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, give it a big thumbs up just like this dude right here. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.